Now witness the power of this fully armed and operational battle station. Okay. Um, <laughs> I've been wanting to say that all day long. Uh, so we've got 2,500 point Warlord Titan in this corner. V, 2,500 points of Renegades, i.e. every single tank in the studio that I could find. That adds up to actually a little bit more than uh, 2,500 points uh, just to prove a point. Warlord Titan has two double-barreled turbo laser destructors on the carapace, minimum range 24 inches. Uh, anything with that long of a name and Destructor on the end uh, has got to be good. In fact, uh, I think I'm going to change my name to uh, Sean Destructor. Um, we've got a Volcano Cannon here with 240-inch uh, range, and uh, that is a Destructor-type weapon, uh, which means if you get hit with it, you take a penetrating hit plus one to the roll. It's pretty bad. Over here we have a, um, uh, what the heck's it called? Oh yeah, a Melta Cannon. That one's only, that one's only got a measly 72 inch range. Yeah, it's not as good. Uh, but it does roll a 10 plus 3 die 6 for uh, armor penetration uh, with a uh, 10 inch blast. Uh, that's this one, by the way. Not what we used to consider the large one. This one. So, uh, just to uh, make a point, we're going to give the Renegades the first turn. So, um, let's uh, quit our yapping and uh, start rolling some dice. Let's do this thing. Okay, we've got a Bane Blade here with a uh, Bane Blade uh, cannon. And uh, that is... Um, whoa! Don't you hate that? Dropping dice all over. Okay... Uh, yes, the, uh, the Bane Blade. Let's see if I can look that up real quick like here. Got all these pages marked. Okay, it is, uh, Strength 9, AP2, Ordnance 1. So, uh, let's do this thing. Um, basically, on this giant monstrosity, a, even if you scatter 5 inches, it's still pretty much just going to hit the vehicle. So, that's how we're going to run it for the sake of simplicity. Uh, a scatter of up to five inches is still a hit. Strength nine plus five, that's uh, 14. The uh, void shields work like this. They're uh, against anything 12 inches away or more. They uh, are armor value 12. And um, uh, if you're in, if you actually, if you're inside, the, the void shields don't help at all. Otherwise, it hits a void shield and peels one off. So, a uh, glancing or penetrating hit peels the void shield off. Uh, I don't think they use the term peeled off in the uh, rule book. Okay, uh, we've got two LAS cannons here. Hitting on, uh, I don't know, I know it's not two ups. So, there's a hit, nine plus six. That peels another void shield off. Let's move on to our Lehman Rush Vanquisher. The uh, Vanquisher cannon... Uh, boy, I better check uh, my uh, army builder real quick. You know, I hate looking up rules in the middle, but uh, you've got to, um, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Vanquisher Battle Cannon, uh, 8, 3, AT, R, oh, armor penetration is 2 die 6. Okay, great. So uh, let's roll for uh, scatter on that. It's an ordnance weapon. That's a hit. It's a 8 plus 3 die 6. That's a tank killer. So uh, that peels off another void shield. All right, let's do the uh, battle cannon on this uh, Lehman Russ. Let's get a uh, let's get a renegade's eye view here. Oh, bring me my brown pants. Uh, okay, so away we go. Uh, strength 8 plus 2. That's a whole lot of nothing. Laz cannon on the front. That's a hit, and not getting a void shield off. Uh, let's go ahead and move up these uh, Vindicators. I pre-measured the 12 inches just to save some time, and here they come. And um, let's go ahead and do the um, do the uh, four twin-link blast cannons. 
And, oh wow, this might be all hits. Oh, holy cow, that's great. Strength 9, 3 plus peeling a shield off. Uh, there's two more shields down. Wow, that uh, that is really, really something. Okay, so four void shields off, only two void shields left. Uh, let's do the basilisks. They are all ordnance weapons, so let's, uh, that's one hit, two hits, and uh, three hits. Actually rolled a hit on that one. Uh, strength is nine. And uh, so, yeah, we've got uh, the last. Oh, I should have rolled those one at a time. Crud. Okay, um, which one hit the uh, actual structure of the vehicle? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this one. So, peels void shields and doesn't penetrate armor 14. So, the void shields have been completely taken off. And now we're hitting, we're hitting bone. Okay, uh, this has a 36 inch range for the uh, Hellhammer cannon. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, see if we're in range here. Oh my goodness, we sure are. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't expecting that, but that's great for the Renegades, huh? Okay, here we go. It's an ordnance weapon that hits. Strength 9 versus 14. That is a whole lot of nothing. Uh, Demolisher Cannon is out of range. Uh, two Laz Cannons. Uh, let's get those lined up so they, uh, so they look nice there. And uh, that's hitting on threes. Uh, that's one hit. Strength 9 plus 5 is 14. That's a glancing hit. Now, I've heard that the new damage table in 4th uh, edition, or the, uh, excuse me, the next edition of Warhammer, it's going to be a lot like this. There's only one table, but if it's a glancing hit, you subtract 2 from the results. So uh, let's go ahead and roll that. 5 minus 2 is 3. That's uh, weapon destroyed. One weapon chosen by the attacker cannot shoot the rest of the game. Uh, wow, that's not so good. Uh, let's go ahead and... Um, take off uh, one of the turbo laser destructors. I actually think that um, uh, you can return those. Oh, you have to skip your turn. Well, I'd rather just blow stuff up. So uh, let's go ahead and get one of these neat little flame markers. We'll put it up here to remind us that uh, that weapon is destroyed. Wow, that's, uh, that's uh, really bad. Okay, um, well, that's what happens when 2,500 points of tanks are uh, shooting at you, right? Uh, the Demolisher Cannon, um, that, I think, is going to be out of range. So let's go ahead and just uh, move this guy up. And, uh, all right, let's do the uh, Warlord's turn. 